Welcome everyone to the detailed view video for LABI ELN and LIMS. LABI helps scientists document, manage, and interpret research data all in one online repository. In this video, I'm going to walk through all the relevant functions related to the detailed view. So first thing we'll do is open the detailed view of an experiment. We're currently on the list view for experiments. So simply click on the name of the experiment that you would like to open in detail view. We'll select experiment 16 here for this video. And once you click it, the detail view will open in a new tab as shown here. So here you'll see all the various sections within, lab, um, within the detail view. And with that said, Labby ELN and LIMS, the detail view is built up with a collection of sections. So each section holds certain data of the record and uses a, a specific widget to display and edit the content. Now let me showcase on how to add a new section. You can add a new section by simply clicking the plus icon that's located above and below every section. So here we'll click the plus icon. Here you'll see the drop down list of widgets. You can select the widget here or click more widgets to explore the widget store. We have tons to choose from. For this video, I will, choo I will choose the rich text CK editor classic. And then here we'll leave the name the same description and we'll hit submit to add this widget. And once added, as you can see here, you can simply start typing into the editor. So I'll just do test editor. You can hit save. And right there, instantly, we just added a new section and edited the content as well. Now, one thing I wanted to mention is these menu icons that you see here. So with this menu icon, there are many more options for you as well. So you can change the section. So here, let's say if I wanted to change the section name. So right now it says overview. Let's change it to tutorial. We'll leave the description the same. Once you're done, you hit submit. And as you can see, we just changed the section name. Moving right along, um, if a widget is doing some data analysis and it's taking time to finish, you would click the refresh section to check the status and you can archive any section if you would want to discard or hide a particular section and for the standalone feature I like to demonstrate the standalone feature as it's very useful to the sections that require a big screen to view so for an example this box and whiskers plot file or picture and this gene bank file would be great for the standalone view so simply click the menu icon to the right of the section, hit click standalone and a new tab will open as shown here with the full screen view. Very easy to see. You can still edit the name description. You can still see the cir circular and linear model. And that's the standalone feature. Again, very useful for sections that require a big screen view. Now, moving right along, you also have, going back to the menu icon on any particular section, is the reset content. So you would do this, it's, and it's most commonly, most commonly used when duplicating from an existing record and the content of the section needs to be clean. You would simply just click reset content. And then to go over these three, uh, so to avoid certain widgets for all new records, the default value of a section can be saved and reused. So once the default section value is saved, the value will be loaded automatically when the saved section is created and the table and the data I mean is saved are specific to the table, widget and section name. So let me show you how this works. Again, uh, we're just clicking back into the menu icon and here you can see the three levels of default data that Labby provides. So save as my default, that's your personal level for your personal preference. And if you save it as a project default, that's specific to a particular project. And if you save it as an organizational default, that's specific to your entire organization. So with that being said, we'll move with right along in regards to providing feedback. So in regards to providing feedback, you can use this function at any time to report problems or provide feedback for a particular widget and section. So to do so, let's say you want to provide feedback here. You would click the menu icon of the section, click report a problem. 
And here, a new tab will open for you to submit a support ticket with any feedback or issues that you have. And we review all the feedback provided, and that's how we improve the platform and resolve any issues that you guys might be having. All right, we also have a help link for each widget. Let's say for an example, you're not too familiar with the procedure widget. So here, simply click the menu icon, click help, a new tab will open and it will take you directly for the documentation for that particular widget for this video which was the procedure and how to add steps. We have screenshots to ensure you know how to use the widget in a very efficient manner. All right, and then moving right along, you also have the ability to collapse and expand the content of any section by simply clicking on the section header as shown here. And then you also have the ability to change the order of the section by dragging the section header. You can do that as well. And then also in regards to signature, so if I move down here, so for signing the record, all records can be signed via the signature wi widget as I'm showing you here. So if I click the sign icon, the document would be locked from editing, but the read only widget can be added to still display the data. And one last thing I'd like to mention about this is in order to provide the audit trails and meet the regulatory requirement of FDA 21 CFR Part 11, no deletion is allowed in Labby. Now with that being said, there's still more to be shown here within the detail view. So if you scroll to the top, you'll notice the more drop down menu here. So click the more drop down menu. Here you can print this document into a PDF. Simply click print. You'll see the data nicely displayed in a PDF format and if you scroll on the top this would all be updated with your company branding and logo as well and then going back to the more drop down list you can also click request if you wanted to send a request to other members on your team to have them fill in any certain type of values or data duplicate so you can duplicate the current experiment if you have experiments that are very similar so you don't have to reinvent the wheel and then you have quick access to detail version and audit trail as well all right and then we have the sidebar here so you have the sidebar to easily access things such as overview so if i click the overviews here you can see the attributions of the experiment you have the ability to archive the experiment you can add metadata see who's been updated by and much more and then also on the sidebar we have versions so if you click into versions here you'll see all the different versions that are captured automatically in the background within Labby and you can restore back to a particular version simply by clicking restore. And also on the sidebar you have the audit trail. So clicking into the audit trail, here you'll be able to see, as you'll notice, everything that has changed is captured within Labby automatically again in the background and is also timestamped as shown here and you can see who updated or changed a certain record as well. And then you have the experiment list and help link which will take you to our dedicated help documentation page. Now with that being said, going back to the detail view page uh, right here, we just covered a lot and that was the detail view of experiments and the detail view is similar to all other tables such as samples, inventory and more. Labby's detailed view makes it easier than ever to access the data that's most important to you, resulting in not having to navigate from your current page to find other important records and data. And data excuse me. Thank you guys for watching and please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more helpful videos.